up, world? I am Nia Posey, and we are here live at Bus Boys and Poets in Washington, D.C. And this event is entitled In the Artist Studio. It's produced by Little Soul Soul Productions and is sponsored by Smirnoff. The featured artist is Ndambi, a soul singer with much respect in the industry. And we're going to be moving and shaking because there's a lot going on here tonight at Bus Boys, as you can see. But what we do in D.C., we move with it. We flow with it. Hey, hey. So, so sit back, relax. Enjoy yourself, and Dombey's going to do a little acoustic set and then be interviewed, like I said before. So, just lay back, relax, and enjoy yourself. Hey, I'm Nia Posey. Thank you. What's up? Tell me your name. I'm Daphne Phillip. And your name? Adira. And how did you hear about this event? We didn't, we came for a celebration for her birthday, and it was just a treat to have an opportunity to see her in concert. Great. So have you heard of Ndami before? or No. Oh, great. So did she make a new fan? She is, was wonderful. I love to watch her dance and sing. She was wonderful. Well, great. So we just want to say that you owe this uh, a special birthday treat to Lil So So Productions. studio and we just wrapped up with Ndambi on the first part and we're here with some old high school classmates of hers and we just want to ask them what they think of the new star here in Ndambi and uh, what she's doing musically. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well my name is Stefan Gray. I'm from Dallas, Texas All right. and uh, I've been following her for a long time. She's actually a high school alumni of mine from the, from the Business Management Center in downtown Dallas, Texas. Oh. And I want to just say how proud I am of her, and I enjoy her music, and I enjoy, and I look forward to hearing more of her. Great. Oh, so my question is this: This is a a, a series called the um, Soul Series. So, what you saw tonight, did you enjoy it enough to come back and see another event with another uh, independent artist? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I I really enjoy being here. It's a great venue and a great entertainment. But once again, you heard it here, we have people reuniting with uh, old high school roommates and our uh, classmates. So we just want to say thank you to Little So So and Smirnoff for sponsoring this event. Hey. Ayana Gregory, and, uh, and and I love this this whole production. I love the acoustic intimacy of it. That's always my preference because you really get to see the essence and the soul of the artist. So I, you know, this is um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see this whole DC collective. I see so many artists in the room, and I love the way that the DC Artist Collective supports artists, not just from DC but around the country and around the world. Soul Sister and Dom, she puts it down. She put that soul in it, that down south, and just makes you feel like you're part of her family. So yeah, it's beautiful. Devon, 
and Dub Ellington Felton. So we're gonna ask them what they thought about the show. Tell us your name again for those who don't know. Uh, it's Raheem Devon. And what you do? I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, a record exec, actor. I do a number of things. Now you just saw the Indombi show. What was your first thought about it? I'm a fan. I just came out to support her. You know what I'm saying? She's dope. And right, oh, right next to him <laughs> is Dub Ellington Felton, another local DC artist. We just want to ask him what he thought about the show as well. Uh, I, I I thought the uh, show was great. Um, I'm looking forward to the interview process. And, and Dombi is a really good friend of mine, and I had the opportunity to shoot a video for her. And you know, she's she's just a wonderful all-around talent and a great mom, and you know, just all of that. So it's it's always a pleasure to see her, you know, do her thing. Oh, okay. Well, as you can see, we show much love here in D.C., uh, artists supporting other artists. And we just want to thank you all for tuning in. This is also a little social production Smirnoff-sponsored event. What I had learned in time, because, you know, when I first started, I, I thought that, you know, you say your idea and people would listen. And I mean, male folks would listen. But usually what would happen is I'm talking and I'm saying, hey, why don't we do this idea and get it done this way? And as I'm talking, all the conversation, the guys are looking at each other and trying to, yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this, that, and the other. So I, what I learned was that you just kind of have to be more assertive. What inspires you? Mm, life, living, uh, watching the sun, looking at the clouds, the beach, uh, water, um, you know, seeing people, watching people, observing life, and seeing how people see themselves. Human beings, you know, God, uh, all that stuff. Just, you know, basic from not taking any of this serious, but just the simple pleasures. Like, it's fine. Wiggling my toes on the porches. It's inspiring when you're watching the traffic go down the street. We get a song about that. Yeah. We get a song about that. Song. Maybe and, you know, sitting on a porch in a swing in Atlanta, and I'm wiggling my toes and I'm watching the trailer go by. Did you see that trailer? Hey, yeah, how you how I done that? I like that. It's good to not be in traffic. Yeah. yeah. What was the inspiration for Can Hardly Wait? Ooh. Oh, let me tell y'all a story about that song. Can not Hardly Wait? You know, it's got some. Some of my. Uh, you know, I'm getting a little more spunky these days, and it, it has some spunky lyrics. Yeah, thank you. I was uh, I was listening to Pimp C and Bun B. Black and Dallas. <laughs> I was listening to them, and I've been listening to them all weekend. And then I had a dream, right? And that night, I was woke up by this hook, this hook on fucking with you. like something. And then uh, I called my friend and I started saying, I don't know why I keep fucking with you. <laughs> and then I was like, this sounds like something don't. <laughs> <laughs> so after I called her, then I called my other friend. He's like, no, you're going to have to go and finish writing a song then. Go on, write it. See what happens. And so, yeah, I'm serious. It was inspired by this and Pam C. Bun B. and the Dream. It was not here. But you know, I've experienced it, but it wasn't really about me. Brown in the sunshine. And